tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being judgmental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisy. Thank you for always coming back to watch my content. I really do appreciate it, guys. For the newbies, please don't forget to subscribe to this amazing channel. So today, I want to show you our, our house tour here. It's located, it's located in Kibera, guys. So Kibera is home. I've lived in Kibera for 20 plus years. And so Kibera is the largest slum in Africa and the third largest in the world. I stand to be corrected and so I'm just very appreciative of where I come from and I'm so proud to share with you what our house looks like here in Kibera. So guys stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Welcome. Before we start the house tour guys, we have this, this dog of ours. So he's called Ocampo. He's been here since I was in class four guys and so he was named Ocampo because at that time when he was born uh, or he was brought here there were Ocampo six you remember the Ocampo six here yeah. and so he was called Ocampo and he's part of this family guys so let's get into this house tour this is the dog the entrance door to the house and so this is how it looks like and then when you enter inside you get you find this handmade doormat it's oval in shape and then when you enter so you find this three seater it's covered with the normal seats and it's gray in color and then on the wall we've painted tango and as you can see we had done some repairs and it has not yet been painted above it we have this light the normal light so after the seat on this corner we have this office table actually the chair got spoiled and so we just placed it here again this side guys as you can see here we've not f finished painting here where repair was done and then on this table we have this one so your kibera girl graduated here and then we have this one this one is just a freshener for, for the house and then we have this beautiful art it's a cheetah i guess and so that's how this table looks like find another table here so next to the table there's this one it's just it was made here at home by my brother so inside we've just placed some sort of small small things that you might need to use and then this side we've just we, we have a bag and then we have a file here on the inside it was painted tango just like the wall and also it has a touch of cream just like this side of the wall so after that table that small table we come to this two seater and it's gray in color and then next to it we have this dispenser yeah and so on that side of the sitting room that is how it basically looks like so on this far end we have two one seaters so again it's gray in color and that's how it just looks like basically and then on top of it we have our bulb switch here so guys after the dispenser we have this this door it's painted brown it leads to the bedroom on this wall it's painted tango up here we have this watch i bought it at kamkunji for uh, 1100 shillings and then just next to it we have this beautiful artwork just look how it it's beautiful and it also blends with the with the wall with the tango so it has a theme of black and orange and some sort of yellow and then coming back here we have this this kind of wall art or what should i say it here art so it's black and so this is how it looks and then i have this green 
flower and so guys this one i made it myself and so i got the inspiration from pinterest this flower i got it at a hand at 300 shillings at um, stage market if you haven't seen that video yet please go and check it up here it's tango and it's so beautiful it just has this white watch and then this wall art and another art here so coming back down here we have this one for mine so this is all i have for content creation down below this one i have this one so this one i think it's now 20 years old it it's from the 1990s yeah this one here next we have this beautiful tv stand it's black and white and this is how it looks like so on my far end we have another the other pair of this one so this one i don't need to spot at 1990s and then coming down here we have now our wi-fi and then we have this dstv thing here and then where we place our cds here we have extra drawers actually they got spoiled as you can see and also this one got spoiled so up on it we have this tv it's 42 inch it is just placed on top of that tv stand next to it guys we have this beautiful flower i bought it at uh, stage market for 600 shillings so this door leads to the kitchen and so once you are out from the sitting room we just go into the kitchen so here we have this cupboard it's imagine it was bought i don't know 1990s when you we were still very young so this is how it looks like but it has served as so well and then on top of this cupboard we have this beautiful oven and then we've just placed some sort of handmade deco yes and then coming here we have these spice jars wow they're so beautiful and so we've just placed them here and then here we have this switch and then this is where we now boil our water using this one our thermos where we place our tea so this is just basically how this cupboard looks like or this side of the kitchen just right when you enter from that the kitchen has been painted tango as you can see and so after from this um, oven right here on this wall we have this pan <laughs> and then we have this one so this one i used it when i was still in the uni yeah and then we have this one we've just placed it here like some for some sort of decoration so yeah that is how it looks like so going down here we have <laughs> we have this one this one i also used it at my university so you can see on top we've just placed some sufurias for cooking and then here we have some extra um, spices for cooking and then down here we have some um, onions and garlic so that is how basically it looks like so next here we have our fridge and then we have this microwave so we've placed our microwave on top of our fridge so again this fridge imagine it was bought when i was in class four so i was just out from school from our trip and i remember i found it being placed here on this corner and i was so very happy and so it it's when i was in class for that some 10 plus years ago so yeah this is how it looks like and then coming along down here we have our cooking oil there we just do it there and then this is where we cook in this coil we've cooked in this coil for so long so this is how the coil looks you can see here uh -huh. and then we haven't repainted since we did the repair so that is how the wall looks like at the moment and then down here we have this gas we cook on this gas if not on this gas we cook it here and then we've placed this tool and it's so old like it's it's like it's 20 years old mm -hmm. up here we have this window this is how 
it looks like we've just placed this one here by the way we don't put curtains on on our windows and doors because we live in this compound by ourselves yeah so that is how the house the kitchen looks like and so coming on this corner we have these things so this is where we place our utensils and then you have this stand so it just holds that crate so that is how it looks and so by the way inside these cupboards we have extra um, here we put our extra utensils as you can see and then again down here we have extra stuffs and then coming on this other side on this storage we put also extra things inside here you can see some glasses and also our tea here so inside here we've placed our mm -hmm, these one spoons and forks this small small kitchenware that can get lost so there is where we've placed them and that is how they look like and then here we've placed some extra stuffs and our shopping so guys basically that is how our kitchen looks like yeah that is how everything looks like So after you are from this gas, you just go straight and then you can see this doormat again. This one is handmade here. We just made it at home by ourselves. And then we have this door that leads to the outside and also that leads now to this bedroom. So let's get into the bedroom. So guys, this is how the bedroom looks like at the moment. That is how the floor looks like. There's no carpet, guys. And so when you enter inside here, right, you just find this double decker. So it's three and a half by six. Those ones that, that are the same like the ones that we use um, in high schools. Yeah, so we have this kitten here. She gave birth to three beautiful kittens. Mm-hmm. So the upper mattress is bigger than the bed, so I think it's four by six. It can't fit the bed well, and so we have this one duvet here, and we have a pillow here. Down below we have one pillow again, and then the person sleeping here covers himself with this one. So this is how it looks. Like. Up there, guys, you can see some sort of CD disc. So they are just used like deco yeah wall art so if you notice this house we have so much of diy's and then we have some sort of art my brother do draw so yeah that's how it looks like and then on this wall we have we've just hung our jackets my brother's jacket and then yeah that is how here looks like so on this wall we have just hanged jackets or extra clothes. Coming down here we have this one. So this small cupboard my brothers made it. It's handmade. It's DIY. So they just placed their clothes in here and some little stuffs of theirs here. More clothes down here and another down here. So on top of it, there is this one that was made by my brother. So it's a DIY. And then we have this artificial plant. I bought it from Stage Market at 300 shillings. So this is how it looks like. And then guys, down here, 
my brothers have placed their shoes as you can see they just go till the far end so no should work at the moment but we just place them neatly and that's the most important thing and then from the bed you can see we have this small mat here this is the window and you can see we have some sort of diy again so this one was handmade and then now this is just how the window looks like yeah and then we have this brown curtain for my brothers we haven't repainted we just did the repair but we haven't repainted so that is how this window looks like from here yeah so we have that so on this other side when i close the door you will see this art again my brother draws so he just placed them here and then on this other side we have the closed door so that is how basically this one this bedroom looks like and then we have this switch <laughs> yeah it hasn't been repaired but soon i will repair it This door leads to the bedroom, so let's go inside. So when you come inside, you can see here there is this sort of small corridor. And then this other side, this door leads to my mom's bedroom. So out of respect, I'm not going to enter in. So down here we have placed our shoes here there's no shoe rack at the moment so this is where we just place our shoes and then now this small corridor leads to our bedroom so this is how it looks like so on this wall guys i had tried painting it white with the water-based paint but it didn't just catch the wall so this is how it looks like at the moment and then we just have our switch here so we have hung our bags here and then on this other side we have this wardrobe where we've placed our clothes and oil so let me just open it so this is how it looks like on the top we have all sorts of oils up there and then down we have our clothes my sister and i share this bedroom so this is how it looks we, pl we place all our clothes here so yeah so from this wardrobe we have this table so on top of it we have placed some books and then in this small bag we have our pens here i did a video on the bags at gikomba please if you've not watched go and check it out so this bag i bought it at 100 shillings so down here we have this one which is dii knitted by my sister and then again this one my sister made them so they are diy they're just glass that are painted and then these ones are also diy these ones we have our glass there and then perfume here so next to it we just have some extra bags that have been placed there and then we have this rod here so i had bought it at kamkunji for 800 kenyan shillings i wanted to place it here on this window but guys this house is made of mud so if I remove this one, then the house, the wall can get destroyed. Yeah. So from the table, there's this side shelf. You can see. So this one is a DIY. This one, which was used to film with, before we bought the other newsstand. And then this one was bought at Stage Market at I think it was 200 shillings. And then these one are just used to place our wigs on this dolly and then some more stuffs down there and then you can see here guys we have plenty of threads we have a blow dry down there 
and then coming down you have just hair 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 so next to it now we have this sewing machine yeah so this is how it looks like it's butterfly sewing machine as you can see it's butterfly that is the reason guys why we have so many threads here as you can see so above this sewing machine we have now these windows so this is how it looks like on top we have placed some three dollies out here by the way i had this one at my university you can see it has graduated so <laughs> we graduated with it let me place it here yeah mm -hmm. so guys that is how the window looks like so yeah and it has just a simple curtain we can't place the road because the house is made of mud it can get destroyed coming here guys we have this door it's not functional yeah so that is how it looks like and then on that wall we have this one so we bought it at stage market there are two stems we bought it at a hundred per stem as you can see they're not the same color so this other one is much darker than this one so each at a hundred so all of them are going for 200 kenyan shillings so that is how it looks like and then down here now we have the bed so this is how the bed looks like i've just stepped on it that's why it looks like that yeah so we have this bed here this bed right here so we've not placed a bed yes we had a bed here we had a double decker but we removed it so we are just sleeping down here with my sister and we enjoy it so much so down here we have this iron box and then some shoes here so here we've placed under this table we've placed some things that don't have storage yet so that's why we've covered it with this and then down here again lots of shoes yeah so that's how it looks like and then we have this chair that one can use while sewing or yeah like that or you can just use it right here so that is how basically this bedroom looks like.